fuck I needed that. It's not often a book reduces me to alcohol consumption due to extreme irritation. But damn, if the traitor's kiss doesn't get that dishonorable distinction from... Yeah, pretty much page one. Cards on the table. I wasn't exactly super excited for this book. It just didn't seem like it was really gonna be my cup of tea, but there was just enough in the description to make me think that maybe, just maybe, I could be surprised by this book. I mean, it's happened before. I think of when I reviewed Winter Song by S.J. Jones. I went to that book with like ridiculously low and, well, ridiculous expectations and came out really quite amazed by that book. And so I remained ever the optimist that, you know, this book would manage to exceed my very low expectations for it. Um, yeah, not only did Trader's Kiss not exceed my very low expectations, it didn't even manage to fucking meet them. I don't think there are enough negative words in the dictionary to express my level of irritation, of, uh, disappointment, and by this point basically blistering <laughs> rage with this novel. This is every young adult fantasy trope that I hate. Except this book doesn't even have the decency to be even, like, marginally entertaining. <laughs> and the core problem is with its protagonist. Sage is a terrible protagonist. I am sorry, there is no polite way of saying this. She's awful. Clearly the author wants her to be special, uh, because boy does she go out of her way to make sure Sage, like, isolates herself from every other character. But what really got me, oh, what really got me, the amount of vitriolic you other girls dress up and pay attention to your appearances. And so clearly you are vapid and shallow and I am so much better and so much smarter than you because I don't. Level of hate that comes out of this character, either in her constantly running in her monologues or in her actual dialogue. It's just staggering and exhausting. It really starts to feel like a personal attack by this author on girls who either A, put a lot of effort into their appearance, or B, have breasts. Now, look, I'm certainly not one to put a great amount of stock or effort into my personal appearance. I mean, uh, look at me right now. This is like how I show up to work, guys. So no, I don't really put that much effort into my appearance unless I have a special occasion or some weird errant whim to do so. But I am a gal with boobs and with cleavage. And let me tell you, Miss uh, Beatty, Miss Beatty, I don't know how to pronounce your last name, ma'am. My possession of a double D cup size, something I cannot control because believe you me, this is the smallest my boobs are gonna get. So my possession of said boobs and my wearing of clothing that shows it off. Not always within my control because thank you clothing makers, but oftentimes a personal choice because I happen to like slightly lower cut things, t-shirts being the big exception, does not in any way make me supercilious, make me vapid, or make me unintelligent. Because my possession of breasts has no correlation whatsoever to my intellect. So what is with this character with sages of I rule in hatred and what is with reinforcing her attitude as correct by making Sage this garbage protagonist seem special and therefore better when in the perspective of the male characters because let's just get this out there and make this pretty clear women can put effort into their appearance while at the same time wanting to wear trousers or skirts and hey, ride horses or push themselves physically. I know a whole bunch of incredibly strong women who can be both tomboyish and dressed in incredibly feminine styles while also, shocker, being fiercely intelligent and well-read. Also, sage smells like sage. Oh my god, put me out of my misery now. Let's talk about the writing. Uh, well, first off, the plot is unbearably slow. Now look, I have no problem with slower novels, especially if they're doing something with character development or world building. 
except Trader's Kiss isn't doing that. And this book is a slog. As much as this novel promises betrayal and intrigue, you're not gonna find any of it here. In fact, I'd argue the biggest betrayal of this book is that it makes you think it might be interesting. It's truly a masochistic endeavor reading this book, begging for it to do something interesting or at the very least to end soon to put you out of your misery. Or maybe that was just me. Doesn't help that there are moments when Miss Biddy actually wrote freaking jump cuts in the middle of her book without even the decency of putting a like space or a chapter break. I'm not even kidding you like a jump cut. You are in the middle of a scene leading up to something and then all of a sudden you cut to something else entirely like maybe five minutes later with no warning. I was flipping my Kindle pages because I thought I'd skipped a page and it is so jarring and uncalled for. Just show us the fucking scene. I mean, nothing interesting happened, but you then recap it in like a page. There was no point for this weird jump cut. It's like she couldn't think of dialogue to fill the scene. And so later has Sage up going, yes, this man was totally unintelligent because he didn't pay attention to me because I don't have cleavage. Oh, blow me, you garbage protagonist. This book is barely over 350 pages. It felt like twice that. Oh my god. And I, for the life of me, cannot understand how somebody would like this book unless A, they are a fan of slipshod writing, poor world building, and a special snowflake of a garbage main character who has a vendetta upon most of the members of her own sex, or B, they were completely inebriated because that is the only way I could understand someone genuinely enjoying this book. You know, no, no, it, it's not, it's not even worth it. Thanks for watching me ramble today. If you'd like to see more from me, go ahead and click that button with my face on it. It'll take you to my channel where I ramble about a whole lot of different things. Got some thoughts of your own? Go ahead and leave them down in the comments and make sure that if you want to see more ramblings from me, you click that little subscribe button. That's it for me today, you guys. So until next time, cheers.